Russia Psychiatric Hospital Fire Kills 37. CBS News. CBSnews.com slash CBS Evening News slash CBS This Morning slash 48 Hours slash 60 Minutes slash Sunday Morning slash Face the Nation. Video. U.S. World. Politics. Entertainment. Health. Money Watch. Sci Tech. Crime. Sports. More blogs. The Feed Battle Round. The WH Web Show. 60 Overtime Face to Face Resources. Mobile Radio Local. Log in log in join cbsnews.com sign in with profile manage my newsletter subscriptions update my email address change my password log out AP slash September 13 2013 529 a.m. Russia psychiatric hospital fire kills 37 emergency situations workers and firefighters work at the site of a fire at a psychiatric hospital in Luka village in the Novgorod region Russia September 13, 2013. Slash AP slash Russian Emergency Ministry. Moscow a fire swept through the Russian psychiatric hospital, killing 37 people, officials said Friday. Authorities had long warned that the mostly wooden building was unsafe. The fire in the one-story hospital in the village of Luka in the northwestern Novgorod region erupted around 3 a.m. Friday and quickly engulfed the structure, which dates back to the 19th century. The Emergency Situations Ministry said. The emergency officials had demanded the facility be closed following a check this year that found it doesn't conform to fire safety standards. The hospital administration, however, won permission to use it until next year. Officials said the blaze was likely sparked by a smoking patient and state Rossia 24 television reported that a witness had confirmed that. It said a nurse tried to put out the fire with a blanket but it spread quickly. The man who triggered the fire was saved, Rossia 24 said. Local prosecutors said the patient might have deliberately set his bed on fire. The emergency officials said 23 of about 60 people in the building when the blaze broke out were evacuated. The emergency workers were also combing the nearby forest for patients who may have fled the blaze or wandered off. The head of Russia's top state investigation agency flew to the area to personally oversee a probe. Russia has a poor fire safety record with about 12,000 fire deaths reported in 2012. By comparison, the U.S., with a population roughly double Russia's, recorded around 3,000 fire deaths in 2011. Another fire at a psychiatric hospital near Moscow killed 38 people in April. Russia's rights ombudsman Vladimir Lukin on Friday called for civil society to re-establish control over the country's mental hospitals in light of the deadly fire. Copyright 2013 The Associated Press All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten, or redistributed. Popular on CBSnews.com A sad, expect everything if U.S. attacks Syria Syrian president tells CBS this morning co-host Charlie Rose retaliation involving chemical weapons could happen. Hindu Harvest Festival celebrated in India NM is a Hindu festival celebrated across Kerala, India. The 10-day festival begins with the preparation of the Purka lamp, floral arrangements placed on the ground in front of homes and temples. Modern military tech at the London Arms Expo 18 photos gunfight follows bombings at a U.S. Afghan consulate. 3D printed robo hands made in South Africa 10 photos Syria submits data to join chemical weapons ban treaty. U.S. backed Syrian rebels reject Russian proposal. Egypt extends emergency law citing security concerns. UN inspectors could point to perpetrator of Syria attack. India sentences for men to death over gang rape. Add a comment. Submit comment. Click here to add another comment. The posting of advertisements, profanity, or personal attacks is prohibited. By using this website you agree to accept our terms of service. Click here to read the rules of engagement. Reply to comment. Submit comment cancel. The posting of advertisements, profanity, or personal attacks is prohibited. By using this website you agree to accept our terms of service. Click here to read the rules of engagement. Report offensive content. If you believe this comment is offensive or violates the cbsnews.com terms of use, you can report it below. This will not automatically remove the comment. Once reported, our staff will be notified and the comment will be reviewed. Select type of offense. Offensive, sexually explicit or offensive language. Spam, advertisements, commercial links, or repetitive posts.